Oh. Here, set it down. Let's go easy. Easy. There we go. I know we're all plumb tired. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was trying to keep from doing. <laughs> oh, well, guys, this is the last load of the day. We are exhausted. It's a big thank you, definitely, to Ray, to Mark, for all the help. Um, right now, what we were loading up, I had was stopped the other day. One of my buddies, Kevin, donated about 17 or 20 cinder blocks. We need for that uh, the one 16 by 12 deck, and we got to do an addition, a 16 by 10 to give it an overall shop dimension of 16 deep and 22 foot wide so the only thing i did is after i left his house i went ahead and picked up these two by six by 16s and that was in the afternoon and early that morning one of my customers very good uh, buddy dan donated two windows um he had 10 at one time and yep and we got my buddy mark's giving me uh, giving me donating one so we'll have about three windows in the new shop work area these were all brand new or something of some source. They came off a, a mobile home or something, I was told. He scrapped the rest of them. Then he said he was just too plumb tired to even mess with scrapping these. So he gave them to me, and they're definitely in good condition, just a little dirty. We're going to go ahead and haul these back. I'm just going to park the whole rig. Um, Kalidus has definitely been a good rig. We've definitely been putting it to the work. And who said you cannot have a redneck ATV? I do. I ain't got a deck. But damn it, this still does what I wanted to do. Tomorrow, early in the morning, I got to stop by work to go babysit some employees. Or actually, I'm double checking on them. I'm a spy. So I don't have to really be to work till noon. So I'll stop there by 6 in the morning before the business opens up. And we'll go ahead and take that trailer with us. I won't be there more than 15 minutes. And I'll, um, I guess we're going to take a field trip. We're going to the big box store. We're going to go see Homer or something or other at Home Depot. So stay tuned. Um, I don't know which video, which clip this is going to be in, but definitely while I'm just saying it, big shout out to these two guys. We wouldn't have got nothing done today. Got my boy Ray, my boy Mark, and that is the new home of Chop Shop Customs over there on that side. Thank you guys for so much for staying tuned. We can call this outro. We can call this intro. We're not sure where this is going to end up being because, like I said, um, we're just I'm just shooting video and editing. I'm trying to get back to uploading every single week like I've been doing in the past. <clears throat> it's been three months since I've did any filming. I have had a couple uploads. Those were older videos or projects I've worked on, uh, various things why I haven't uploaded. Um, but I'll get into that in the future videos. I'm plum exhausted. This is about almost 6 o'clock at night. These two are tired. I'm tired. And thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, guys, if you like this video. Thank you. Good morning, guys. And as well as promised, we have finally made it the day I've been waiting for. I've been scrimping, saving my YouTube funds, which all my money goes back into every project. I literally, I don't work this channel for a profit. I do it for entertainment. And we are here. We are at the big box store. Um, I'm pretty well sure that i am very early i think it's like seven something i'm used to another store that was in town further away where i used to live and darn it they don't open up till eight o'clock so i guess what i'm gonna do i guess what i'm gonna do is uh gonna wait it out <clears throat> first in line we got the jeep out there with the trailer ready I got premium pick, had to come in back into the big city to come back to save a little bit of money on materials. I can't really complain. It is what it is. Um, I like using my local Ace Hardware, but for lumber, even they would have cut me a discount for as much lumber as I'm getting. The discount itself, I would still save more coming to a big box store. So I'm sorry guys. I know there's a lot of people in town that watch, but I got to save some money somewhere. So I guess, let me figure out how to kill time. I got about an hour to kill before they open. Well, we finally made it to the big box store. They finally let us in, and at least I have the whole lumber area to myself, because I'm like the first one back here, which will give me a chance to uh, figure out what we need and what we're gonna get. And I think I just found it. 
Uh, looks like <clears throat> what I found it for through their app was $23.98 and looks like we lucked out $21.58 so 26 sheets of this and we're going to be uh, loading up the cart. Well, we got the 2x4s loaded. We had, I originally needed, I believe, 46, but I went ahead and picked up 50 because I did save on the plywood itself. Still walking around, um, looking at decking options, and it's not for the house. This is on the side of the shop. I have a spot where I can start moving uh, some of the projects, some of the go-karts, mowers, um, pressure washers, stuff that's going to be in future videos to keep it off the ground I'm looking for like a 1 by 6 by 16 and I just figured while I'm waiting on them to grab a forklift to uh, lower down the stack of plywood because what I need is sitting at the very tip top for many sheets as I need I figured why not just walk around for a second I don't see it uh, just seeing it. I was going to go ahead and price check this while I'm here and I believe this is what we need. It's actually going to be 5, 4 by 6 by, nope, these are 12s. Those are 10s. We need the 16 footers, which are somewhere. Well, why I still walk around and try to find this in the maze of the store. I'm not sure how the layout of this location is. Sorry for the camera angles. Um, and I just found it. Fifteen dollars and seventeen cents each board. It's eight foot wide by sixteen foot long. So what I might end up doing because I do want to build a, a covered roof to kind of keep everything out the weather. We just might go with plywood versus going with this material. This is fifteen dollars a board. The plywood is going to be about twenty two dollars. Um, so I think overall it's just going to make more sense. I know it's a lot to cram into you guys, but I have time to kill and I'm going to use my time wisely. While I'm at it, here are the 4x4x8s. I believe this is what I'm going to be needing. So I see that they're 827 a, uh, a piece. They kind of look crummy. I see some good looking ones right there in the center of the pile and those are the ones I would want to grab. The other ones look wet and moldy. Well, I guess as I'm waiting for the associate, though he's waiting on the spotter to show up. So I guess we have nothing else to do but just sit here and wait. Well, we're looking at somewhat of a finished uh, floor for the shop. This is approximately like a week, two weeks past the first set of clips that you've seen. With the work being uh, kind of crazy hours, I'm going back to normal, thank God. On Monday, I'll be off. So by Monday, hopefully, we can film putting up at least getting the front walls built. 
I don't know if I'll have them up, but that's my goal. I've had a couple issues with this deck, and that's because I had an issue originally with the cabin. That's to become the studio cabin, whatever you want to call that over there. There was something that exactly wasn't square, and when I built this, I thought I had squared this up. So I have a little bit of issue, but for the most part, it shouldn't really hinder what I'm doing. Um, got everything put here. I did do miscalculations, so I'm going to be one sheet uh, short on the plywood. I originally had enough to do this entire flooring and build every wall panel to go all the way around. So that should originally put me like the right amount of materials, but it's no big deal for one sheet. I'm not going to run to the big box store in the city. I'll just grab it from my local hardware store. But that will probably be later on this coming up week. My goal right now is to build the entire front wall section panels. We're going to have the door. We're going to have a four foot wide by probably seven foot. Six or seven foot give or take. It's going to be probably right there. Camper I still have to tow it out of here and move it to the other side of the property. But we should have at least a window, door, another window on this panel. Then two and... I don't know, I guess like a half sheet, give or take a little over half sheet, making up the front. So it'll be 22 foot long by 16 foot deep. It's going to start at this corner as an eight foot side wall, but it's going to slant down to seven foot by this back wall. And the back wall itself coming across is going to be seven foot in height. And that should give me a good little roof pitch, which I have to do the calculations exactly what the roof pitch comes out to be. Um, not got that kind of good at all these measurements, but I can't really complain. I did build the entire cabin, um, same fashion as I'm building this shop edition. So this is going to be awesome. Like this is the first of, uh, what I'm getting done. Still got to come back and screw all these off fully. Um, what I did is like, I think it's five or six screws down every joist and the front sides. I need to do the whole centers, get everything screwed off, especially in the front, because that way I'll come down this entire row, I'll screw everything off fully, so that way once the front walls are built, we can go ahead and throw them up and throw a brace in there too. Then I'll probably mock up my, uh, what I'm going to do is lay four sheets of ply straight down, and I'll snap a chalk line from one side at eight foot and mark it at seven on the other. To get my angle, it's just easier for me to do that instead of try to do a bunch of crazy calculations. Um, but yeah, this is this is this is just like a little update I'm throwing in this video. So I'm actually excited. I went ahead and actually used the Jeep. We trucked uh, trucked all this bad material back here. I have a generator. Um, we got some of the donated windows. Uh, all the blocks that this is on, all my, I've had two three buddies of mine donate them. I surely appreciate those guys. Uh, we have Kevin and Mark. Guys, I appreciate you for uh, donating some materials to help. And I definitely uh, appreciate all you guys by watching my videos. I make a tiny little income out of YouTube, which this has been paid for solely out of uh, my YouTube fund and all the projects. Everything I make through YouTube just funnels right back in into uh, everything I work on. So, I mean... My job pays for the family, and y'all help me pay for all this little stuff that I get to do uh, to entertain you guys. But yeah, this is, like I said, just a quick update. I don't want to ramble on too long. I went to go trim this um, trim this sheet of plywood, but unfortunately, all three of my batteries crapped out. They're, they're getting extremely hot. Uh, it's searing hot and humid today, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I'll put the tools up for now, charge the batteries, and get them ready for tomorrow morning. And that's where we'll pick off, pick up off in the morning. Um, what I'll do is probably grab uh, two, three sheets of plywood. Or actually, I'm sorry. All right, sorry guys. In the last clip, I have no idea when the camera died. I knew it was up running out. So while I was thinking about it, uh, the hardware store is going to be closed tomorrow on Sundays. So I figured let's run in here and grab the screws we need so we can get building in the morning. So, I'm glad I thought about this. So we need the last box of one and three quarters 
and I believe this is the one. It's either actually a note three and a half inch, one and three quarters. We got these two, and we're out of here. And we're going to do actually a review on these, and I'll explain in the review. That will be in an upcoming video, so keep track. We're about to pay for this and head out, and we'll be ready for the morning. This is the exciting part of getting back to this build. Uh, as you've seen in an earlier clip, went ahead and this was yesterday, this was Saturday afternoon. Got this deck sheathed. I still got to this morning. I'm going to go ahead and screw off the first uh, roll of uh, sh the subfloor. At least uh, nothing more. Uh, at least I'll do the very edge. Then I'll come back and do the centers, and I have the ends already done. And uh, today, bright and early Sunday morning, I think it's time to start building wall panels. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this first window. It's supposed, it's a real wide window. It's almost uh, four foot wide. It's supposed to slide up and down, but what I'm going to end up doing is uh, we're going to turn it sideways. And we're going to make it slide sideways. These are free windows given to me. So I'm not really complaining. Uh, it was a really cool thing. One of my buddies gave it to me. I'm thinking about go ahead and start with that first window. Since it's kind of uh, oddball. Can't complain. It was free. Has the screens to come with them. <clears throat> so I think that's what we're going to do. Is we'll go ahead and take that window. We'll throw it on this first sheet and get the, the measurement set and we'll go from there. I got the sheet of plywood laid out. I went ahead and took that window, put it sideways, and what my normal rule of thumb is, what I like to do, from the bare, very bottom of the sheet, I come up right around 36 inches, and that kind of gives me a rough idea where I want my window to lay out in this panel. So I went ahead, laid the window on top, and I measured from the bottom 36 inches, got it lined up, then I had to keep tweaking it side to side till I got the rough, uh, the rough placement, <clears throat> and I try to center it in the panel best as possible. So we got 36 inches from the very bottom of the panel to the bottom of the window opening. I believe it's right around six and a quarter inches, give or take, side to side. Then that leaves me approximately a foot at the top. I don't know how well. Let me see if I can get this in here. I don't know how well, uh, hopefully the camera's picking up that very faint pencil line. And that's all it really takes to cut the window opening. Now what I'm going to do, instead of using my Milwaukee uh, bat battery operator saw, I have a new generator I picked up for the Hurricane that just passed. And we got a couple other stuff coming, so it's going to get use. We're going to go ahead and crank that up. I'll slide some 2x4s under. And we use the good old Ryobi corded saw. Go ahead and uh, get this window opening cut out. Then I can start throwing in, um, throwing in all the the center braces. We'll go ahead and throw the two by fours in and any center braces. We'll go ahead and knock that out and get this panel on the way to being put up. And just like that, we got the window opening cut. And it's just kind of like uh, the previous cabin build when I was doing the, the different panels. Now we start wrapping it with a two by four. <clears throat> what I normally like to do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and get it started. Like I know I got this edge flush down here. And they seem to change bits on me. Let's see. They're supposed to include a bit. Not complaining at all. Like I said, um, said it in earlier clips that I love these uh, screws so much I am going to do a full review on them because they have been phenomenal. So I feel like come down to the end, make sure your edge is going to be flush.
then I'll just come down here. Sorry for the camera movement. Uh, sorry guys. I know shaky uh, camera work isn't good. And then what I'm doing is just eyeballing the whole thing. Make sure uh, that everything's perpendicular to each other, that it's all flush. And that's it. And of course a whole host of screws, but we could do that in fast frame. Um, it's basically going to be the same thing for the other side. What I do is I like to use full uh, eight foot studs and I don't buy the the smaller what is it like three inch two inch whatever it is shorter too tired to think about it this morning but I'm gonna go ahead shoot these down we'll shoot the other side let's go ahead and do that fast frame motion so we can get to the top and bottom plates and we still have other longer screws that need to go in through the sides to secure this we'll get um, then I can kind of show how we're gonna do the casing out of this window we still got other studs that are going to go inside so this panel is going to be a little bit heavy because it's going to have more studs for uh for the window because i like to put full length studs but we'll go ahead and do that fast frame motion real quick All right, now that I got, I went ahead and brought five more studs up here. And uh, what it is, is I'm going to take one, we're going to cut it down four foot minus a total of three inches because each two by four is an inch and a half thick. And what that's going to do is create a top and bottom plate so we can get that out of one stud. Then I'll take another eight footer and cut a total of three inches out. <clears throat> so that's going to fit in between the top and bottom stud. And what that will do was it will give us the whole framework for each side of the window. So we need two of them like that. Then the last one, one or two, I'll have to uh, I'll cut the actual top and bottom for the window out. And we can screw all that in, majority of it, through the, the top side. Everything will be secure. Then we come in with our longer uh, screws. And then we secure everything else, however we can get them in there. Um, right here... Normally I like to come in this way, but it's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge. So if I put full length studs in there, I think to save lumber, what I might do is actually just, I'll go ahead and do my top and bottom plate. And what I'll do is just go ahead and uh, we'll just cut the top and bottom of the window openings. We'll, we'll go four foot minus the three inches, run one across, one across. <clears throat> we'll cut the shorter ones to go on the sides then we'll just do one right in the center of the this top panel like a, a center stud there and we'll do one here and that should uh, make it easier to screw everything up and uh, if you just follow along we'll do some most of this in fast frame motion we'll go ahead and get this panel done the more complex panels take a little bit more time but uh, the best part is like I was going to say is uh, you go ahead like like I've done it for the cabin build that's how all the window openings were done it takes a little bit longer as far as these kind of panels the basic flat panels are the simplest easiest and use the least amount of materials and i'm looking at it already before anybody says anything this top line i didn't draw it out straight or something but i'll figure that out as soon as i throw in my piece it will uh when i throw in this top part for the window it will let me know exactly where the straight line's at and i'll just come back with the, the saw and cut it uh, and re-straighten that out. We'll test fit the window like I normally do. And uh, go ahead and get ready to throw this in. I might actually go ahead and... Might just say if I could do it by myself, just go ahead and install it. And we can at least have one panel up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to crank the generator back up. Get all my measurements, everything done. And uh, we'll go ahead and start a cutting. All right, um, went ahead and cut my top and bottom plates. Basically, I cut everything except the studs that are going to go here in the center. Uh, what I normally try to do, like like I was saying, is uh, my whole thing is to try to save lumber. 
but keep it strong as well. Now one of the things I know I'm notorious to do is cut dead on my lines. Uh, like this panel is going to be, or this piece is going to be just a hair, a uh, little too thick, like a sixteenth. So what I'm going to do is grab uh, some of these other studs or uh, plates and I'm glad I, I made sure I marked the ones for the window so that way uh, they're a hair longer yeah I'll be able to squeeze this in um, well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, what I'll do is go ahead and knock these in trim this one I'll get everything basically test fitted and we'll come back real quick and just do this in fast frame like I said what we're just gonna do screw everything off to the sheet apply so it gives us our wall panel just like we did the cabin so not much is going to be changed in the way I do things uh, I'll go ahead and put the top bottom plates, the windows. I'll go ahead and try to put everything in real quick. Uh, just dry fit it, make sure everything is nice. Everything's going to be still square. And we'll go ahead and knock this out real quick in fast frame motion. And I'm sorry about the generator noise. It's just easier to let it run. So when I need the saw, I can just go ahead and cut as I go. Hopefully you can hear me uh, pretty well. But if you notice, I've got the window opening framed. Yeah, I. I admit I goofed up on that top line. I don't know what I was thinking. It's no big deal. I set it in uh, Everything is tacked up Each board is two screws for right now. What I'll do now is the last things I'll need to do Let's come in here cut one center stud for this top one for underneath the window I could do them off camera real quick and uh, screw them in that's really the panel's almost done. The first one is literally almost done. Like, whoop, whoop. I can't uh, believe that the new shop is slowly coming together. Whew, this humidity out here is going to kill me today. And it's only, I think it's only around 8.30 in the morning. But what I'll do, uh, I'm not going to bore everybody. Because like I said, these panels, it's a lot of just, not really even tedious, just repetitive stuff. Um... Like right now, I have to go through, I'll go, uh, and I'm doing all my small, I think they're inch and three quarter screws. I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter, the same exact space in, which is approximately six inches, give or take. Uh, I got to do that around the entire window opening, the top and bottom plates. Then I can go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and probably flip this over, get my measurements so I can be precise. Like I said, we just need the center stud for the top and bottom. <clears throat> throw them in, throw the, the inch and three quarter screws in. Then we come in with the three and a half inch screws and tie everything in where our butts up all the two by four material. So that's gonna be the next step. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off for now. Like I said, I'll just do this off camera. There's no point in keep doing fast frame uh, when it's not gonna be really needed. Let me knock that out. And like I said, there might be a chance uh, I could try to manhandle this panel by myself and go ahead and install it. I, I couldn't wait like yes I know somebody's gonna say oh you didn't put the studs in like you said I can actually come back in and do them right here from the inside um, I still need to come right here and put these uh, three and a half inch screws which actually they call them three and a halves but they're more like four inches easily because it only measures the thread it don't measure from here to the the piece uh, the head of it I'm sorry so I still need to come in and tie it in this way and this way. But <clears throat> so before I made it even heavier by adding in the like I, I definitely need a stud right here in the center uh, and one at the top. But I was so excited and since I'm doing this by myself today, <clears throat> I went ahead and put this in. I went four screws across the bottom and it goes right into the two by six. That's down here. 
and you got to remember everything is basically two foot on center so right here I come in diagonally which uh, this one is diagonal right into a double two by four that's on the inside so that's going to tie it in there but we have we have a wall we have the first wall up of the the new shop edition um, with a big nice window opening which I think is like awesome like while I'm in here working, what I'm thinking is putting the, the lift table like approximately in this area so projects will come in through a four foot wide door. They'll come in. I could park them right here, somewhere in this general area, maybe even right here on this four foot uh, piece of ply. Well, without the camper being there, uh, that will be the door opening. So with the door open, you will get a nice breeze in. You can have this window open. In the winter months when it's chillier we can have this closed and we're going to have right here on this four foot if i continue on what i'm thinking is going to be another window so we're going to concentrate a lot of our light right here and since this what i'm going to do is actually come in and we're going to take this window out and we're going to kind of reframe it so we're going to have a, probably a three foot wide door about three foot so we can come in and out from the studio cabin uh, office right into here it's kind of exciting like I, I couldn't wait to really see what this is going to start taking shape um, I need to go ahead and I'll do this off cameras put in those screws I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it because these panels do get extremely heavy um, which I've done it on some of the other ones that I've had uh, I should have done full-length studs because this is gonna be a load-bearing wall for the roof but I think there's another way I can correct this and uh, I'll figure it up whenever I make the door opening. Now the door opening, like I said, is I think we're going to go seven foot high and four foot wide. So I'll end up making just a panel that goes right here. It'll span four foot, then it'll continue to another wall and I can do some kind of bracing as I go along. I can fix my little mistake. Um, like I said, it's just exciting to see something going up. But this is just like a puzzle. Like I've explained when I did the original cabin, is when you build the panels, you can switch them around. Like if I didn't want the, the window here, I could turn around and just put a regular, I could just, if I built all my panels, if I have a blank wall, I could just put that there instead. But standing here, and just gazing over the creek, and I'm, I've got so many bird feeder ideas. Um, it's going to be on the on the outdoors part of this channel, which will be right here. Um, if you remember back some months ago, I, I decided to close my outdoors channel and split this channel into two. We got a lot of DIY bird feeders I want to put out here, and all these a lot of these stragglers are going to be cleaned up. So the bigger trees are all remaining, but I want to be able to set it up for birds. So you can see all kind of birds just come out here and feed, and this is so exciting. Like I, I just oh man, y'all y'all just don't understand how excited I am. But enough jabbering, I guess it's time to, I'll get off camera, I'll go ahead and finish screwing all this together and uh, go ahead and start prepping the next several well, panels. See, uh, went ahead and threw one other panel together, this is one of the quicker panels. Um, just went ahead and uh, I decided to do a full wall here. Yes, it doesn't have, normally what I do is you have your stud, you have your top and bottom plate, your other stud, and you have one in the center which will be about uh, two foot on center, give or take, yeah, two foot on center. I need that one in, I need some over there. Um, the weather isn't exactly cooperating. It's humid, it's sunny one second, and it's drizzling the other, so, and I'm kind of tired. I've already been up bright and early this morning. I had to run to work, do some quick paperwork before they opened, and uh, I still have to go back. So, I'm gonna call it quits for this morning. I'd rather be safe than sorry than sit here and start getting drenched on with power tools out here and my camera gear oh well I'm at it let's get my sweat sh soaked shirt out what do you think yeah I bought one of those little cricket machines um, I do all my own stickers I went ahead and did the this came with the machine it was a used one I'm not a fan of color red but I, I that glittery red kind of liked it so I was like hey my little GoPro bag and my other hard camera case for my uh, Canon I've logoed both bags and the other one's a hard case but the other one's got vinyl this one's got iron on 
But uh, it's drizzling again this time. I got to go. I don't know if it's the end of the video, but we'll see.